Okay, our first presenter is Kate Carroll. Ten minutes. Question. Do we need to understand to do the right? Do we need to understand the the content of the Well if you don't understand it then he hasn't communicated it. Yeah, I wish I you can understand my thing. I will try you to understand my thing. Yeah. So I mean, if you don't understand at all, I would give him a six. But it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's it everyone, right? Not everyone, me, oh, right? Not just you, everybody. <laughs> okay. So ten minutes. Let me escape. Ten minutes, starting now. Go. Okay. So hello, everyone. My name is Kate Daro. Nice to meet you. I know some of you have already known me, and some of you may not. But uh, I'm going to talk about what uh, one thing, which is my uh, research I have done in my bachelor year. And but before putting my research, I would, like, I would like to ask you two questions. First question is, uh, how many of you guys like mathematics? Whoa, this, yeah, this is talking like, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, some, but maybe like 60% um, of you guys don't really like mathematics. And the second question I would like to ask is, uh, how many of you uh, drive cars? Oh, a lot. Oh, really? I didn't imagine that. So, um, maybe, so, okay, let me ask some of you. You said you, gotta, you are driving, right? Yeah. A gasoline car, right? Yeah. How, how much time do you need to, uh, how much time does it cost, I mean, does it take you to charge your gasoline? Charge, like, if you look, maybe like five to ten minutes. Right? Five to ten minutes, right? But what I am going to talk to you about uh, is electrical vehicles, electrical cars. Let me just shorten the word. Uh, I'm going to say EV. Because I, my pronunciation of vehicle is not really good, so let me talk in EV. Um, so EV, so who has driven EV before? Oh, you, really? Electrical bike. A bike. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it's a vehicle. Yeah, but vehicle, yes. Um, but, okay, it might be fine, but like, most of you have never driven it, right? And uh, maybe so you have never charged it before. So what I'm going to talk is that um, you probably don't, Really no, but the EV takes a lot of time to charge itself. So, for example, like if we, even if you use uh, rapid chargers, but still it takes 30 minutes to charge. It's a long time, right? And that there are not enough chargers here in Japan yet. Even in Japan, so maybe not in other countries as well. And also, so what I have done is that the, we got I I was um doing research to solve the situation. So imagine that there are so many electrical vehicles, a EV, coming up and it comes to common. And uh, there is not enough chargers yet. And uh, even if there are quite enough chargers, but still it takes a long time to charge. And uh, it doesn't change a lot. Because like, think about your smartphone. When you charge your smartphone, it takes two hours or three hours, right? It doesn't finish in five minutes. So if there are like two cars in front of you, you have to wait for one hour. And if there are like a four cars, then you have to wait for two hours. You don't want to do it, right? So what I have done is to, uh, to approach to the, uh, the problem. And uh, I asked you that, um, you, how many of you guys like mathematics, right? So what I have done is using mathematics to solve the problem. So what I have done is, like a, is coming up this equation. <laughs> this is quite wrong. I think wrong. <laughs> this I got this equation and I used first formed it to like this one. Um, I, I 
I should say, the guys transform this from uh, this from this to solve that problem. I just explained. So let me. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Jim. So uh, let's think about this situation. This is a Markov kernel, and then I imagine that there are charging stations. This is just uh, like a random station. But if you have station right here, and the one station has six chargers, it um, at the place, and they, it costs hundred n the charge, and then you have users right here. There are 50 users, 50 EV users. So there are enough chargers, but still people don't. People have, you know, or what? If you look at one station, you don't have the enough one. So if you, if like a lot of people going to the one station, you have to wait a long time. So what I use, what I did is using this like a two like a like complicated equations to solve this thing. So, so this is the station, and the users want to go to the closest chargers from their location. Um, and by using my equation, so this one, the, the one bottom, you can estimate the number of the users going to each station. So like, so like each of them have the six chargers, and the one only six people can go to the one station, and the other, and there are some. Empty. I mean, there are some chargers which are not used yet. And so, this what this tells you is that the station which has maximum number of users means popular. So people want to go to. I mean, more people want to go to the station. So, like for example, like number nine. Okay, that here you see there are quite a lot of users around it, right? So people want to go to number nine, or, and the, Maybe like number one as well, and also number three and four. And what I have also done is like using this equation to solve this additional charge, which means the cost to make the to, to make the station cost higher than the non-popular stations to make it to to how should I say, to resolve the uh, congestion. So. By adding the additional charge, more, less people want to go to the popular station, and the more people will move to the others. So, like as I told you, so like for example, like number one, three, five, six, and nine, they have maximum number of users, so they cost some additional fee for you. So, by using this kind of mathematics things, you can you can like you can solve this kind of problem, and the more people don't have to wait anymore. So what I want to tell you by this, my research, is that if you have enough data, like for example for mine, like if you have a data of location of users, and also like a people of needs, it, you know, people don't have to go to the closest station, but you can still change it, but still I can, so by, by this equations. So if you have enough data of users or anything else, and if you have equation, like this stuff, it doesn't have to be this sometimes, but like for my station, it has to be this. And if you have this e these equations, thank you very much, you can, <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, solve the price. So what I want to tell you is that this kind of mathematics, I, as I asked you about it, okay, maybe 60% of you, you guys don't really like mathematics. And you don't have to use mathematics. But there are several people like me using these mathematics to solve these uh, social situations, social system, and uh, to make it happy. So, <laughs> mathematics helps the world. Thank you very much.